find out as his tariff scheme just got turned on its head. So just yesterday, he took to Truth Social writing, on January 20th, as one of my many first executive orders, I will sign all necessary documents to charge Mexico and Canada a 25% tariff on all products coming into the United States and its ridiculous open borders. This tariff will remain in effect until such time as drugs, in particular fentanyl, and all illegal... Is he a fucking retard? Because all of that shit, the majority of fentanyl and all this shit he's speaking of is being made in America. Meth was made in America. Crack was made in America. Even if they imported the cocaine, crack was made in America. So he's, he's waging war on entities and countries that have really not much to do with the, with the epidemic in America. Instead of, instead of going after the root cause of problems, he goes after the symptom or whatever he thinks is the symptom. Meanwhile, he doesn't give a flying fuck about the American people. He never has. And even in his campaign, he wasn't really talking about what he could do for the American people. He did fear mongering with his campaign and that's just about it. Okay. So to go against Canada and to go against Mexico. And I heard somebody was saying that he wants to send nukes and bombs to uh, Mexico There's so much, there's so much I want to say right now. There is so much I want to say. But the point is, is that American people are going to suffer. And I really think that a lot of these white racists that, you know, that they call themselves preppers and things like that, they were prepping not because they felt a doom and gloom situation, but because they're instigating or wanted to instigate a problem with with both our borders to lock the american people in and do a nazi regime point blank period okay so if the if if trump goes ahead and he causes conflict with canada and canada and mexico these preppers weren't prepping for a doomsday event they were prepping for this tariffs and things like that they're prepping for this kind of event. Poverty in America. They're prepping for American citizens to not have the food they need or the resources they need. They're prepping for, um, they know that if they do this type of thing and tariffs are go, the, they, the prices of, of products and produce skyrocket what will happen is you will have a lot of crime. They are instigating crime to happen because when people get hungry, they will commit crimes. So I feel like this is my personal opinion. I feel like this was, this was a plot and a plan to do these type of things so that there could be civil unrest so that white racists and, th and people that follow Trump can cause issues and problems in America to be able to instigate war with, with American citizens. And the real reason why Trump and his racist regime want to get people out and, um, and deport them is so that they have less people to contend with to do this. If you don't think Trump is about this Nazi regime, you better fucking really pay attention to the way that things are playing out. Trump has never been about the actual, um, the, the, the well-being of America as a whole. Trump has only been about a segment of the population in America. And I'm only speaking on the tariff part of this.
there's going to be civil unrest because when people can't afford to, to pay for what the cost is going to be for all the things you need, this is where we're headed. 